Hey you guys, it is me, Laura. I am a homeschooling mom to three kids, ages three, eight, and 10. And this morning I woke up and thought, hey, I should do a day in the life this morning. So I did. <laughs> um, turns out I'm a little bit tired today and I've actually been really cranky. So it was kind of a rough day to do it, but I think it worked out all right. Some of my filming is not the best, but it still gives you an idea of what our day flows like. I enjoy watching Homeschool Day in the Life just to see how people schedule things, to get ideas, and um, to help me think out the box, outside of the box. And I know because my needs are constantly changing as homeschool is dynamic and needs change, it's helpful for me sometimes to see what other people are doing in similar seasons of their life. So um, hopefully you can get some ideas and be inspired as well. Right now we are kind of at a season of a little bit less schooling. We've wrapped up a few things in various levels and I don't want to start a new level until after we're about to take a big break um, for a couple weeks and so I want to wait till we do that till after that break before we start back up with any of our new levels of things. So things are kind of petering out a little bit. We're in the middle of an interest-led unit study. So this is not one that's driven by history or science. This is one that the kids requested on emergency workers and we're splitting it up into two parts. The first half is police and the second half is firefighters and we are in the middle of the police part. So I believe this video starts first thing in the morning at breakfast and you'll be joining us with the morning basket. Here we go. Like the cars we had when we lived in Tennessee. All right, guys, we're starting this new one today. Our first card says, What ancient road allowed Chinese goods to be brought overland to Europe? I don't know. I don't know. The Great Wall? No, what road? What road? Um, Have you guys heard of the Silk Road? No. Um, I have Question is, who ate the bird? Okay, so our first one is Mr. Mittens was sitting. Teeth. You got the food out of your teeth? Yes. Mr. Mittens was sitting across from Duchess. So we don't know where. Could be there and there, or there and there and there and there. But they were sitting across from each other, right? Yeah. Okay, and Pip Squeak was sitting across from Sassy. So again, we don't know where, and we don't know if they're beside them or what. what's the deal there. So we've I'm got- I'm gonna read them all and let's see if they work. Okay, you guys check me, all right? Okay. Mr. Mittens was sitting across from Duchess. Is that true? Yes. Pipsqueak was sitting across from Sassy. Is that true? Let me see, yep. Both Tom, Cat, and Sassy were sitting in front of a bell ball. That's what? That's right. Ginger was sitting in front of a bag of catnip. Yes. Tomcat was sitting three seats from Mr. Mittens. Can we get Bill and Jake over here? Yeah. Okay, so if that's the case, Lily, who ate the bird? Can you tell me? Who's in front of the bird? Who ate the bird? Pip Squeak. <gasps> was it Pip Squeak? Oh, let's check and see. He's like, oh, it was Pip Squeak, and we got everybody in the right spot. Good job, guys. And all his ways are just a faithful God who does no wrong, upright and just is he. Deuteronomy 32 4. The wind blows softly, tickling the leaves of the milkweed plant. The air is sticky and sweet. This guy wins. It's this orange now. It looks a little orange to me. He looks like he makes some yellow and some red. I we're going to finish this. We stopped to get a few things set up and we're going to finish this book now. Finn and the police dog triad. You're going as little Bo Peep. No, let me give you another paper. Yeah. Um, you're going as little Bo Peep, and Remy can wear the heart locket. She'll be the queen of hearts. An attendant put the lock around Remy's neck. He put the bonnet on Fizz's head and tied an enormous pink bow under Fizz's chin. Adorable, said Fizz's mother. Ridiculous, said Fizz. Well, it could be worse, said Remy, tilting her head to a sponsor's poster at the back of the hall. 
Fizz saw a giant picture of Bruno with a pile of pink bubbles on his head, advertising deodorant shampoo for smelly dogs. Fizz laughed. It definitely could be worse. Now, said Fizz's mother suddenly, serious. The other show dogs will try to undermine you at every turn. It's turning into blue. I see that. I like how you're using your paintbrush to mix them instead of pouring them. So be alert. Watch your feet for any tripping hazards and make sure you check your costume before you enter the arena. Just finished up morning basket. Lily is playing with the um, paints in the sink. She's mixing them and all of that in the sink. And we had a lot of stopping today. Sometimes she's perfectly happy just to listen and other times she needs more things to do. And Samuel is snuggling with the kittens on the couch. They're sleeping on him. So usually from this point of the day, I just kind of tidy up a little bit more from breakfast and kind of just get things going. Usually the kids will play, just enjoy playing and doing some things until, um, until uh, we do math, which is usually at 930. So they have some free time to kind of get the things on their minds done. Um, yeah, so Lily painted and Timothy thinks that that looks a lot like a wolf howling at the moon, which it does, which is super cool. And there in here is the moon. Mm -hmm. So um, the kids, uh, since we're reading Fizz and the show dog Jewel Thief, which we're reading for our police unit, um, they want to know a little bit more about dog shows. So I think we're going to watch a little clip about dog shows and then I'm going to encourage them to play and have a good time. And sometimes... Um, I'll do a little school with Lily now. Sometimes I'll wait till later. Um, but yeah, we just kind of go with the flow for the next little bit and let everybody get out the things that are important to them for the morning. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, oh, go up a line, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? We are running a little bit behind this morning. We just kind of got not the best start, but the boys wanted a little bit more time to play and Lily needed some mommy time. So we're gonna be starting math. Usually we try and start at around 9.30. However, I'm not super strict on that. So depending on how the morning's going, but by 10 o'clock, we definitely need to get started and on math so that we can have that done at a reasonable time. And usually we'll do math and one other thing. So if we have a group activity for our unit study that is good for Lily to participate in, we will do that then. If not, I'll have the boys do an independent other thing that matches the amount of time we have and whatever's there. So I'll just look at what we have for the day and pull what makes sense. That just gives them a little less to do in the afternoon. But I do like to have activities that Lily can participate in. Today's, I think, is not going to be super fun for her. So we'll save that for the afternoon. And they'll do their math here in just a minute. And in the meantime, I have a little kitten. It's hard to see her because she's dark. There we go. That's Panda. It's really nice out today, so we thought we would do math out here. So while the boys do their math, I usually have Lily do a little bit of ABC Mouse, and I have it set on a 15 minute timer. And I'll usually have her do her learning path or I'll do an assessment with her, just one of the activities just to kind of see where she's at. And then she can do free time once she finishes that. But um, 
that's a way that she can be busy so that if the boys need more intense help with me, she's good to go and she can get a little math done on that as well. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how we do that. Can you tell me what you're doing on these? How do these work? Well, uh, so this one is complete and then I have to add in the stuff that isn't complete on this. Like he didn't have his legs or those arms and he didn't have those buttons on him or those up there. Can I see the other side of your paper? Ooh, that one looks tricky. And then there's this. Yep. Yeah, All so right. I'm gonna have to put in those snowflakes. Go ahead and do it, I'll watch you do it. Did you get six? Count them, make sure they're six. It is just after 11 o'clock. The kids finished up their math. We played outside. And normally now is when I make lunch. We have tons of leftovers in the fridge, so that's what we're gonna eat for lunch today. And I am exhausted. I have not been sleeping so well, so I am going to go rest and lie down. Um, Arlen gets off of work for lunch at 11 and he's off from 11 to 12.30. So um, yeah, he kind of usually takes the kids outside and plays with them and all of that jazz. So today I am going to rest and I realized that I forgot one of our books in the morning basket, our nonfiction <laughs> part of the morning basket. So I'll just read that with the boys this afternoon. We will rest and eat lunch and then the kids have free time until about 1.30. And that's when we start school back up for the day. We are getting ready to start our afternoon homeschool block. Lily is going to go down for her nap. And I am just going to take a minute to look over our planning sheet for the day to see what we have left and what we have already done. We ended up doing our nonfiction reading during lunch. So that's done. We don't have to worry about that now. So I'm just going to take a couple minutes here to kind of look at what we have and get my head wrapped around what we're going to do. And then I'll call the boys and we'll get started. The order that we do school in the afternoon kind of changes from time to time. We have the same stuff that we generally do, but the order that we do it will change depending on the day and what's going on. So today they are starting with Adventure Academy. And I usually have them do about 20 minutes and I use it as a supplement to whatever we're learning. So today I have them both doing some stuff for language arts. Sometimes we use it for math and every once in a while I just let them have a little bit of fun. Um, but they are starting with that today and I'll show you a little bit of what they're doing. What you working on, bud? A climb. So you have to read that and solve the mystery? I have to read all the clues and get all the stuff together. So Timothy, what's your assignment for Adventure Academy today? Anything from this section. Anything from language arts. What mm -hmm. are you going to pick? This. What's that? Okay, let's see, let's see. How to, how to, how to... Oh, Bugsy, how am I supposed to write a how-to paragraph when I don't even know Do you like how this? to start? For our project, we are going to be working on the Master Detective Toolkit. I went ahead and pulled what we need for today. We read about the profile cards last week, but we didn't make any. So we're going to make a few of these profile cards. And we will read this page and the crime scene. And we will work on securing the crime scene. So for that, we are going to need the door seals. And this is some caution tape. So. We'll see what all that entails, but I think it'll be fun. Did you say you already did your left hand? Uh, no, I did my right hand. Mommy, mm -hmm. did you know that in some sheriff offices, they have electric guns? Uh, so we have turned this corner of our carport oh, into a crime phone. scene. So, Samuel, what's on the door? I Go show me. You. Go show me. Okay, since I'm addicted, I can come through. Me too. So, what is that there for? If someone it gets... opens the door, that means that someone went through there. Oh no. And mommy, so do you normally say that we're not allowed in there? 
to use that door, that means you'll know if somebody used I'll know it. if somebody used that door, that's right. And so here's our caution tape for our crime scene. And I set up a cone. Just so to help. tomorrow we'll see what else we're gonna do with this crime scene. Does that sound good? Yeah, what all are we gonna do? Of course the kids wanna do more in the detective kit, but we need to get the rest of our work done and then they can go out there and we can do more of that later for sure, but we have to get other work done. So right now I'm gonna have the kids pick out some things to work on and we're gonna to listen to Grammar Galaxy and then we're gonna do our table work, we're gonna do our copy work and our vocabulary work. So that's what we're gonna do next. We just finished our table work. So we did our word of the week. They picked a word based on, this is from the, these are words from Fizz or from our nonfiction stuff that we're doing. So they pick which one they wanna do and they separate the um, syllables and we talk about the spelling and then they copy the definition from a dictionary. And we I'm picked our- got a kitten. So we picked our copy work for the week and we um, highlighted our punctuation, circled the capital letters, underlined, underlined the adjectives, and we talked all about that. And that is what we just finished. And now we are doing book basket, which I will show you what that is real quick. They've got kittens and they're very happy. So for book basket, I put together this basket of books based on our unit study theme. So this is all police officer related stuff. And then we spend some time every day, they can read on their own or um, they can pick what they want me to read and they both want me to read today. So Samuel, what did you pick from the book basket? Behind the badge, um, crime fighting through history. Timothy, what did you pick? Officer Buckle and Gloria. So we're gonna read these with kittens. Yeah. It is 3.51. Lily just woke up from her nap, so I'm about to go get her. We're pretty much done with school for the day. Samuel's gonna do his reading right there with the kitten. Okay, hold on, Lily. And Timothy, I'm gonna do his, um, and have him read to me and go through his word cards that we're working on. And, um, I'm also going to let Lily do her fingerprints because we did that while she was asleep. And that's pretty much it for today. Lily has her snack. What are you having for snack, Lily? Smoothie and some butter and banana. And I am going to go ahead and do some reading with Timothy. We just finished. It is just after four. It's like 4.05, 410, somewhere in there. Um, I am stuck with kittens on me, which is totally fine with me. <laughs> Um, the kids are pretty much done with school. Samuel is still reading, but he can read as long as he wants or he can stop or whatever when he wants to. Um, some days we finish now, some days we finish earlier than now, and sometimes school goes up until five o'clock. It just depends on the day and how much we have and what's going on. Um, Timothy went out to go check on the crime scene that we set up earlier today, and he's gonna be playing with that for a little while, which is fun. And that is pretty much it. So at this point, we just kind of hang out and play and have a good afternoon. Um, at five o'clock, I get them to start cleaning up. And once they're done with all their schoolwork and once everything is clean for the day, they get screen time until supper. And while they're doing that, I make supper. And then we eat and go for a family walk um, after supper. And uh, most days, well, maybe half the days, after supper, I'll spend one-on-one -on -one time with each of them. So right now I am, during that time, Samuel and I are watching um, episodes of Where in the World is Carmen San Diego on Netflix. And Timothy and I are reading the Narnia books. And Lily and I just read stories. Um, we've painted fingernails. We just kind of do whatever. We'll spend a little bit of time together. And then um, the kids start going to bed and we wrap up for the day. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and go through all the work clean up the school stuff and all the things um, and get us set up for tomorrow. And that is pretty much it for this day in the life. Um, of course, like I said earlier, every day is different. It's not always the same, but this is this, the general flow that we have. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll talk to you later. Bye.